Hi there folks, I thought it's been a while since I've um, given a message now that will go out on Facebook and on the website and I just wanted to uh, catch up with you all really and chat about a couple of things um, since we began to gather together for worship across the benefice from the 6th of September. We've been really blessed during those times of gathered worship. It's been wonderful to be able to share together in church and to be physically present with each other. And we have been surprised by some of the blessings, even in amongst the challenges. One of the blessings has been the worship. When we began to gather for worship again on um, the 6th of September, we, we knew that we wouldn't be able to sing, but uh, we wanted to um, have some music for reflection. And into that space, have stepped um, Alison, who, who plays for us um, on the organ, and um, Paul and Steve and Lorna, um, who play as the band. And that has been a real blessing. And it has really enabled and facilitated our worship in a wonderful way that was quite unexpected. So we weren't just sort of filling a space until we can get back to what we were doing before. I believe our worship has really moved on through the care and the leadership of those gifted musicians. So I want to say thank you to them. Alison has suggested that it would be really lovely if you've got a favourite um, hymn or piece of music that you'd like her to play, either during the service or as we prepare for worship, just to let her know. So drop Alison Wilson a line. And um, if you don't know how to get hold of her, email me. Um, at revlouiseholiday at gmail.com and I will forward your query on to Alison. But that would be wonderful because we want to continue to develop that. Another challenge we faced as we started to think about gathered worship again was how we were going to, um, what provision we could offer for our young folk, for our children. The children within our benefice are precious and they are so important as members of our worshipping community. And so we wanted to make sure that they were not just um, overlooked in the midst of all of this anxiety and challenge. Now, we recognise that our uh, children's work as it was could not continue. Um, Alice has moved away and we miss her greatly. Um, and other members of our children's work team were having to shield and be careful Plus, we didn't have the space where the children could safely gather together. So we, did, we considered how we could meet the children's needs as part of our worshipping community and still gather together as the family of God. And we came up with this idea. So each child in our worshipping community has their very own box. This box belongs to Emily. And in this box, every week, go a number of different activities. It is very particular to each week. It ties in with the theme of the service. So what the children are doing um, during the service um, ties in with the theme that um, we're moving through with the lectionary. So in these boxes are uh, activities, things to do and make. There have been um, stickers and things so that the children can decorate their boxes. Colouring materials, different bits and bobs, scissors when necessary, um, glue, something to write with as well. And in each box is a journal. And this is um, a private journal for each child. So I'm not going to look in this journal now because this belongs to Emily and she's not given me permission to look in it. But each week, the children are given a question to reflect on, and they can write their thoughts in their space. They don't have to write them even, they can draw a picture, they can write a prayer, they can do a pattern. How they use this book is entirely up to them. But it's their space for processing their thoughts at this time. Now, it might be that the children invite us to have a look and that is wonderful, but that's entirely up to them. This is theirs, it belongs to them. So I'm gonna put these things back in Emily's box 
Um, and I just wanted you to know that this is what we're doing. And we're hoping that these boxes will continue to develop so that um, as more children join us, they will have their own box as well. It lives on a shelf in church in St Giles. And um, at the beginning of each service, this is the services that happen in St Giles, the children come and they collect their box. But we've had children from across the benefice come, collect their box and be excited for what is inside. And every now and again, we pop a bit of a treat in as well, a bit of a surprise for them. So please continue to pray for our young folk and for the work that we're trying to do with them. We hope that in time, we will begin to be able to establish a new um, service, a new worshipping community that um, will be focused on children and families. And these boxes and the journals will play a part in that. But for now, that's what we're doing. If you want to ask any questions or offer any thoughts on that, please do get in touch. I'd love to hear from you because we are keen to develop how we live together, how we serve together and how we care for each other at this time. So that's that. There's one more thing that I want to share with you. We are now moving towards um, the season of remembrance. Next week will be the 1st of November and we will mark our patronal festivals of All Saints in All Saints in Coddington and All Saints at Barnby. That happens next Sunday, 1st of November, both at 10 o'clock. You'd be very welcome to attend either of those services. And we will be turning our mind now to remembrance and commemoration. And although we can't celebrate Remembrance Sunday in the way we normally would, with big community events and churches packed, we are nevertheless going to mark that day, Remembrance Sunday. There will be a service in each church. Um, at All Saints in Coddington, the service begins at 10.30. Here at St Giles, the service begins at 10.45. And the service at All Saints in Barnby will be 6 o'clock in the evening. Numbers will be really limited, but we are hoping to be able to record the service here from St Giles and that will go out on our website and on the Facebook page. It's also a shared service with our partners from the Methodist Church and the Salvation Army. So Reverend Peter Bates and Captain McElsey will also be taking part in that service. And then as a way of enabling the community to mark this occasion of remembrance and commemoration in each churchyard in our benefice in Barnby, Coddington and here in Boulderton, we are going to have um, a temporary installation and that will involve rocks, pebbles like this, just an ordinary rock. And um, we are inviting you to take your rock, to decorate it um, however you wish, either with an image of a poppy Perhaps the name of a loved one you want to remember at this time. Perhaps a prayer. Perhaps a picture of a different kind. Um, I understand that it's best to use poster paints and then give it a coat of varnish because that makes it weatherproof. But when you've decorated your rock, bring it to either the churchyard here in, St, in Boulderton or Coddington and Barnby and place it within the outline of the cross that will be there in the churchyard. And our hope is that through, across the communities, we will have created um, a monument of remembrance and commemoration that everybody has been able to take part in by adding their rock. I will decorate my rock and add it. I hope that it will join you with yours too. The other thing we really want to do is to get the children to create artwork that we can fill our notice boards with. Artwork about remembrance and commemoration. So maybe poppies, prayers, other pictures that they want to do. We want to fill every notice board so that here in Boulderton that will be our church notice board, the notice board at the Methodist Church, 
the shop window at the Salvation Army shop in Brisbane Court. Um, banks as greengrocers would love to have the display as well. So we need a lot of artwork. Please, please join us so that the whole of our community is marking remembrance and commemoration. The same will go for Coddington and for Barnby. If you're not sure where to deliver your artwork, bring it to the vicarage. I'd be happy to uh, take it to where it needs to be. So please, thank you for listening. Continue to pray for each other. Know that I am praying for you. And as we uh, continue to move through what are really, really challenging times, let us pray for a real sense of going through this together and uh, let us encourage one another and share those ideas that keep spirits up and offer support to those who are finding times really difficult. To may God bless you and I look forward to seeing you again soon. Bye bye.